Sunday's match in the Sportsmart Women's Premier League was the preliminary final with Berlin Lions cashing in their double chance taking on Heidelberg United at Broadmeadows Valley Park. Berlin's first final ended in a penalty shootout defeat to South Melbourne who were waiting in the grand final for the victors of this match. Heidelberg United had enjoyed penalty shootout success against Bunduri United after a four-all draw in the elimination final and then emphatically tossed Burundara out of the finals with a 5-0 win in the minor semi-final. Newly crowned WPL Coach of the Year John Kyrgios was on the sidelines for Heidelberg United, while for Bulleen, Leah Privatelli was finally back from a long injury layoff due to a broken toe. She would start on the bench. Teo Pelizzeri with you for the highlights of this match. Let's go to the action. it long down the left. Gadelge has got plenty of space and pull in with an early opportunity. Gadelge, edge of the area, crossing it in. Kopok, 1-0. Just three minutes in and we've got the opening goal. A perfect start for the Bulleen Lions. M. Kopok finishing at the near post. It's Bulleen Lions 1, Heidelberg United 0. And any thoughts of fatigue after going to penalties last week quickly dispelled by the Bulleen Lions. They have exploded to start this match. Ball comes in from the left. Cleared away by Torfik. Jones. Now Nicolacci. Ball into the path of Pinella. It's Pinella with a lob. And she puts it high over the bar. A decent half chance for Heidelberg there, but Belinda Pinella wasn't able to bring it down in time. Crossfield pass though, and Heidelberg nearly with the quick response. Shallow ball from Quinn, but it's made to work by Razias. 50-50, Verzi. Diagonal pass, Ellis dinking it back. Pinella comes through and takes the ball. Now Nicolacci, edge of the area. And that one needed a hand from Land to go around the post. Out for a corner. Nicolacci over the corner. Razias! And it's cleared off the line by Cernio. And Cernio breaking out of defence, clearing the danger. Great corner from Nicolacci. Razias totally unmarked. Francis Land was left standing. Tessa Cernio on the post saves the day and preserves the lead for the Bulleen Lions. Cernio. Kopok. Good by Bacopoulos. Back to Cernio. Lay, turning. Little back heel. Kopok now. Heidelberg defence holding firm. Line of the right. Farkos brings it down. Can't find space for a shot. Here's Lay. And Quinn tips it over. Shot was straight at her, but still required a save. And after Bulleen passed the ball around the top of the area, unable to find an opening, Cindy Lay went from distance. Forced a good save out of the Heidelberg goalkeeper. Eudis. Went to Pinella. He's charging through, can't take the ball. Di Clemente. Using her strength. Little back heel going to Pinella. And now Pinella running it through. And through, shoulder to shoulder. Pinella stays down and the referee says it's all right. Through clears her lines. Nicolacci. Heidelberg still on the attack. Through ball. Jones is advancing. It's Jones! And she fires over the bar. And Pinella still down off the ball, needing treatment. Kendra Jones, that was perhaps a better chance than it looked. Heidelberg persisting in attack. And they are getting close to the equaliser here. Kyrgios flicks it to Pinella. And wide to Di Clemente. Gets in board to beat Dolzan. Passes it straight to Ellis. Shallow clearance though. He just keeps it in the attacking half. Di Clemente keeping it in. Pinella. Back to Di Clemente. Back to Pinella, edge of the area. Jinx in board. And now the clearance is dangerous. Jones again with a chance. And the header goes wide. 
Francis Land may have got a touch there as it went out. And Heidelberg United continue to apply the pressure. Pauline clinging on to their 1-0 lead. Fru clearing it into the attacking half. Little strength back into the centre. And now through ball. Penella breaking through the left side of the area. Land comes out, gets a touch on the ball. The net's still open. Penella floating it. Di Clemente, and they're level. Heidelberg United are back on level terms. 1-1. Laura Di Clemente heading in. The goal has been coming. And on 38 minutes, it's all square in the preliminary final. Francis Land afforded very little protection by her defence. Did well to take the ball off Penella's feet. But it didn't go very far. Penella chasing it back down and sending in a perfect cross. Laura Di Clemente stooping to the ball and able to nod it in. Heidelberg United capitalising on their recent control of the game. Here comes the corner. Land bats it away. Nicolacci with a second chance. And Land holds. Gadelge. Farkos. Still Eleni Farkos. Now Lay. With a lob. Kopok brings it down. Misses the ball initially. And now shooting. And it's a good save by Quinn. Turning it around the post. The initial attempt on goal was a fresh air shot from M. Kopok, but the second attempt stinging the fingertips of Kelsey Quinn, and the Heidelberg United goalkeeper comes up with a good save. Lay, nice turn on the ball, playing it to Edwards, and she rolls Eudis. Olivia Edwards is away down the left. In comes the cross. Kopok, 2-1. No, the flag's up. It's been chalked off. It won't count. Offside. Olivia Edwards was away down the left, crossing in. And M. Kopok seemingly coming from deep. I think Pauline might have every right to feel aggrieved that that one won't count. It remains 1-1 here at Broadmeadows Valley Park. Throw comes into Penella. Takes it past Ellis. Penella to the byline. Sends it in. Jones! 2-1! Heidelberg in front. And for the second time in this final series, they've come from a goal down to lead. It was a nice turn from Belinda Penella to lose the Bulleen defence. And with plenty of time to pinpoint across, she put it on the head of Kendra Jones and the American from close range making no mistake we're on the hour mark and it's Heidelberg United 2 Bulleen Lions 1 <laughs> Quinn driving it into the middle we'll find a teammate Di Clemente under pressure from Dolzan but keeps it moving to Kyrgios and now Jones is free on the left Kendra Jones, crossing it in, cleared, only as far as Di Clemente, spinning, and scoring! 3-1 Heidelberg, and they've got a foot in the grand final now! A stunning goal from Laura Di Clemente, and the fans in the stands are going wild! It was Di Clemente's bustling work in the middle of the park that kept the ball in Heidelberg possession. Kendra Jones sent it in. A shallow clearance only finding its way back to Di Clemente at the top of the area. Spinning on the ball, shooting instinctively and curling it perfectly over the outstretched hand of Francis Land. That is a special goal and one deserving of sending a team to a grand final. Ellis throws it in. Farkos turning, running at the Heidelberg defence. Farkos from distance. And Quinn taps it away. Out for a corner. It needed a touch. It's a good save from Kelsey Quinn. She maintains the two-goal buffer for Heidelberg. Here's the corner from Dolzan. 
to the back post, Lockhart, and it's cleared off the line by Verzi. Quinn holds. Well, what a chance for Keely Lockhart driving in a header. And Michelle Verzi hard up against the post. I'm surprised there weren't more shouts for a handball, perhaps, but she's done well and kept the ball out. Ellis. Kalianis is chasing. Ellis passes well, straight to Zyrus. Ball spills. Copper. White to Lockhart. 1 2 with Ellis. Keely Lockhart's got some room on the left. Spins onto her right. In comes the cross. And Privatelli turns it goalwards, but Quinn is able to hold. Not much power behind it in the end. And Kelsey Quinn keeping Heidelberg United on top and bullying at bay. Land will roll it out to Torfik. Farkos. Cernio. Switching flanks over to Scott. Coughs up the ball. The great take possession. Bacopoulos. Salakidis. Now a high ball over the top. Di Clemente running with two Berlin defenders. Di Clemente. Oh, extraordinary. Nearly scoring a hat-trick. How did she even get the shot on goal? Flipping up to the ball, a sideways volley, and putting it into the bar. And that would have sent Heidelberg United to the grand final. Very nearly 4-1. Bulleen lucky to survive. Dolzan driving forward. Farkos under pressure from Verzi. And now Di Clemente's on the ball. Salakidis. Hassan. Caught in possession. There's a slip. Salakidis. Now to Di Clemente. Fancying a long shot. 4-1. And Di Clemente does finish her hat trick after all. Heidelberg United are heading to the Sportsmart Women's Premier League Grand Final with 10 minutes to go. It's Heidelberg United 4, Bulleen Lions 1. And what an unbelievable performance from Laura Di Clemente. A hat-trick in the preliminary final. And I tell you what, that might be the best of the three. Firing it into the top right corner from a long way out. And Francis Land has been under siege in this second half. Unable to do anything about it. Dolzan hits the dead ball. In the air. Hassan. Headed down. Cernio. And ball. In a shooting position for Heidelberg. Cernio is protesting. But the free kick's been paid. Di Clemente taking it quickly and puts it on the roof of the net. Scott throws it in. Last rights of this one. Farkas drifting it into the area. Pitelli. Quinn running under the ball, but still holds, backtracking at the last second. Under pressure from Leah Privatelli. Relies on the referee. Quinn hits it high. We keep going. Murphy. And there it is, full time. Heidelberg United advance to the Sportsmart Women's Premier League Grand Final. The full time score, Heidelberg United 4. Bulleen Lions won. Laura Di Clemente will keep the match ball for scoring a hat trick. And I tell you what, South Melbourne, anyone watching on today, will have plenty to think about heading into next weekend's decider. Um, it's obviously disappointing to not make the grand final. What do you think went wrong today in the end? Oh, I just think that um, after a good start, we went into our shells and we allowed them to dominate the game. They, um, they condensed the midfield, they made it hard for us to play through them and I guess if we're being honest, you know, they, they, they wanted it more than we did, they deserved it, they deserved the victory. I thought 
we only really started playing when we went 3-1 down. And from then, we, we, looked at, we looked at different side, could have had one bite. Close call for the offside goal, keepers had two fantastic saves. You know, it could have been different, but, but ultimately, it, if, we'd have, if we'd have won it today, it would have been probably unfair on Heidelberg because they certainly, uh, they certainly wanted it more than we did. That, that's the most disappointing thing from my perspective. I thought we had a couple of players who, uh, who went missing. How happy are you right now? Oh, <laughs> I can't put it to words. I'm, I'm ecstatic, Thomas. I'm very, very happy for the girls. Um, we made it the hard way, and, and, and in times of that game, we, we, during durations of that game, we made it hard for ourselves. Um, but the spirit is there. It's alive and well, and they, they battle very, very hard. They just do not know when they're beating, do no, they? No, they don't. I'll tell you what. I mean, um, even going back a while now, three weeks ago with Bandura, we were 3-0 down at one time, but uh, that's the fighting spirit, and um, having that and unity is fantastic, and it's seen us become one better than last year, which is always the aim, so very happy. Before I leave at, at half time, um, do you think that really changed the game in, in terms of your favour? I know you went two goals down for that, but do you think it helped change the flow of the game a little bit in your favour? Uh, she only lasted 15 minutes and then had to come off again, so I mean she, she hurt her knee in the first tackle and then wasn't wasn't really contributing much so um, it was quite it was quite a simple decision to take her back take her off again and I thought to be perfectly honest I thought uh, young Keely went on and actually she changed the game for us a little bit because she was prepared to run at people and um, and and you know I suppose wear her heart on her sleeve and, and try and win things so um, yeah look yeah I, at the end of the day I thought we showed we showed in patches today how good a side we are but we also showed in, in many more patches how, how much of a long way we still have to go. You know, they're, they're still young, they're still inexperienced, there's, but you can't use it as an excuse for too long. You know, today we, we just didn't stand up the way I expected us to. Um, I thought we looked a bit tired, maybe extra time last week did take it out as a little bit, but I wouldn't have said that going into the game, so I'm not using that as an excuse. I, I, look, I wouldn't take anything away from Heidelberg. They wanted it more than we did, and they're a good side. Do you think the momentum that you've built up helped you a lot today? I think so. Look, um, I, I thought over, over Friday, I, th I thought about the squad, and, and the, the squad has strengthened and got better and better as we got along. And when you've got some new players in the team and youth and all that, it takes a bit of time for them all to blend in. And we're fortunate, plus with all the injuries that, I've, that we've had, hasn't helped much. But um, uh, towards the, the latter part of the season, I think we, we got it together. We got a, most of our players back. And, um, Everyone learned how we, what the game plan is and what we want to do, and it worked. It worked great, and, it, and, and that's, these are the results that we got now that we're very happy with. And this was your second year only in the Premier League, after all. I yeah. Mean, yeah. How far have these girls come since? Oh, the look, it, you know, I mean, they, they, it's it's a night and day transformation, really. I mean, the, the guys now are are much more confident in trying to play. Um, I thought at times in the first half we looked really. Um, we looked really overawed by them. Their pressure was good, uh, and I thought at, at times we we panicked a little bit. But um, you know, uh, you, you can't you, you really can't estimate how far they've come. I mean, you just need to look at the way the way they're going. They don't drop their heads. They're prepared to battle it out. And you know, uh, even today, you know, we still we still ran it out, even though it was you know it was a it was a lost cause. But um, I'm super proud of them. They're they're a, they're a great bunch. Um, they they want to learn. They do try hard. They work their socks off. Nothing but um, nothing but accolades for them. Thanks, Bobby. No worries. Cheers. You've gone one step further already than last year, mm -hmm. but uh, surely you want to take that extra step and win that grand final now. Definitely. I mean, uh, there's two sides in there. We've got to respect South Melbourne. They won the league by by a mile. Um, but we're certainly going to give it a shot. Uh, we're there now, and um, we're going to try the, our utmost to um, to get it. And when was the last time Heidelberg won the grand final again? I think Heidelberg won the grand final in 2007, and we've got a big a big photo and, um, of all the team in, the, in our club rooms, and we would dearly like another one. And uh, I don't think any sides come from fifth place to win the league before. I'm uh, confident you that you're going to be the first team to do that. Um, look. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm quite confident that we're going to do the best we can, just like what we did today. Um, and if that, the best we can do is going to be out there on the weekend, and um, um, if that's good enough to put us over the line, then so be it. And Bobby said he felt like your side wanted it more. Um, was that, do you think that was the case? Uh, look, 
I mean, our side definitely wanted it. I'm sure their side wanted it as well. Um, at the end of the day, we had just as much pressure as them, I assume, I, I, I think. But the girls really worked hard. They know, they know what, it, uh, what it's like to be heartbroken, which is what we went through last year. And um, we talked about that and we wanted to go one better. And um, we were very, very determined. There were some extraordinary things today with some finishing and some amazing saves from Kelsey as well. Um, it all worked and I'm happy for that. Laura doesn't, probably doesn't score as many goals as she like or you'd like. Uh, but have you seen her crack goals in like that in training? Look, she, she's got an unbelievable strike. Um, she's an under, unbelievable hard worker. So for me, we really don't stress about the fact that she hasn't been scoring. The amount of pressure, when we, we do a high press game as we do, and she's, she's invaluable in there. So it was a matter of time, and I'm glad it happened today, actually, in terms of her scoring some fantastic goals. But um, she's got an amazing strike and an amazing work rate. Really, really good, honest kid. Yeah. I think so. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. One more. Ah.